I am so incredibly excited and honored and humbled and grateful to be on this stage. So this is my story. It begins here. Three years old, filled with hope and dreams alive and the belief that all things are possible, right? All I needed was to be loved and to be happy. I was the youngest of four girls. My mother said I was the easiest baby ever, that I didn't walk until I was 19 months old. Really? Oh my gosh. Yeah, she said, we could leave you in that playpen for hours and you just watch everybody go by. And one day you didn't get up and walk, you got up and ran. And you haven't stopped running since. Mom, that was my first taste of freedom. Who wants freedom? Freedom to choose and to be and to become is at my core. And that love of adventure and freedom has given me a great life that took me from California to New York and opportunities that led to a successful business career. And that's usually the end of my story, besides being an incredible mom, or grateful to be an incredible mom. But that adventure, these are parts that you don't know, took me to the opportunity to be an assistant to a US presidential candidate on the campaign trail. How fun was that? To living and playing in Europe and traveling across the United States, to acting and sculpting in Los Angeles, advocating for the environment, meditating in Australia. None of it makes sense or follows a clear path, except it was from freedom. The freedom that comes when you live in your heart and when you trust your gut. You are in this room today because you trusted your gut. Don't let go of that. Trust your gut. When I met this incredible man, he captured my heart, really. And, and that's when I really understood and found love. I found my home. Our greatest dream came true with these three boys. And I am so excited and incredibly grateful today that my youngest, my 16-year-old Mateo, is in this room. I love you. You are the light of my life. My love lives in their hearts. So six years ago, when someone called me and introduced me to Life Manage, I thought, you've got to be kidding, right? I'm going to be away from my family and network marketing? I don't think so. But something, thank goodness, something in my gut, not my logical brain, said, this is real. This is big. This is important. This is about changing lives, including your own. And I am so grateful for that gut because network marketing has changed my life. Thank you, Life Vantage, for this, in this incredible Jeep because it is the symbol of freedom. And ascending is really what it's all about. This business has allowed me to build it from my home, to live my life and be a part of ascending these three boys into their life as I built a business to Pro 8. It's also about the fact that I can ascend three business centers, we all can, right? To Pro 10, because there are so many more people who need to have an opportunity to live life freely. Fair? But ascending to Pro 8 was about ascending personally. And this is really my big lesson. I came here thinking all of that experience and all of that knowledge was going to take me to the top. In fact, I came here not believing in network marketing. Anybody in here come here with that? I didn't understand that incredible profession that this is. And that costs so much. That's not what it takes to have success in network marketing. What, ha it, what it takes is to be that three-year-old, that three-year-old who believed in their hopes and their dreams, right? That all things are possible and that life is simple. Love and be loved and be happy. 
That's what it requires to ascend in life vantage. Move from my head to being smart to my heart. That was my story, but you are here in this room to write your story. I encourage you, make it a great story because you deserve greatness. You trusted your gut, you got in this room because you have a burning desire to change your life, to create a different future. You are here in this room to unlock that master in you. This is where the masters are. The people who desire to help you are here and can show you how to get where you want to go. So commit to following the leader, master the basics, keep coming back, and you will find that master in you. So here's what I learned about mastering the basics. The first is to stay connected. You've heard it over and over again. This is where you come every 90 days. There is no secret. Stay connected, stay committed and connected to this. Every 90 days, show up at every single event. That is how you find the master in you. Be fearless. Keep it simple. Speak from your heart, right? Don't try to be smart. You will always find the right words to say. I want to pay gratitude to two leaders who gave me so much. And they are Tyler and Marcel. Because they taught me about falling and getting up. And that failure was a part of the journey. I want to thank Marcel for saying, you never failed. You understood that failure was a part of this process. You didn't make any mistakes. You just had more to learn than most. He also gave me the traveler's gift, a book. And that book taught me to quit beating up on myself. Love yourself first so that you can love others. Be humble enough to ask for help. Raise your hand often and ask for help. Everyone is there waiting to grab your hand and to help you. Hold hands so you don't get lost. People quit because they let go. Never let go. And finally, be coachable. We've heard it over and over again. Master that proven plan. Don't wait for someone to master it for you. You master it. Master the proven plan. And then create new habits. Believe in yourself. Believe that you can do this. Have a great vision. And find your way. Find your purpose. Napoleon Bonaparte says, a leader is a dealer in hope. That people are looking for a better life. They're looking to know that you believe in them and that they can do this. You are in this room because you are a leader. Life Vantage doesn't just deal hope. We deliver hopes and dreams on fire. Do you agree? So right now I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. I'm going to ask you all to stand up. Come on, stand up. And then I'm going to ask you to link arms with the person next to you. Because do you have a heart? Do you have two big hands and arms, right? To lift yourself up and lift other people up? And do you have legs that'll take you, strong legs, wherever you want to go? Thank you for doing that. So this is my morning ritual. Please, please make it yours. Repeat after me. Thank you, Og Mandino, greatest salesman ever. Repeat after me. Every day I create new habits and become their slave. Every day I greet this day with love in my heart. And every person I meet, I look into their eyes and say silently to myself, You guys are good. I love you. I love you. I love you. So do you feel that? This is the power of we. We can do this. We are unstoppable.